friends, welcome to this week's vlog. It's officially Monday morning. Normally I start my vlogs on the weekend. It was a crazy weekend. I had little baby Grayson and Friday overnight to Saturday. What did we do Saturday? Saturday I went on a date with my honey and a couple of friends. We went and saw a movie with Matt Damon um, called Stillwater. It was good, but I didn't like the ending. I understood what the ending meant. I just didn't like it. Um, and then we went to dinner that day and what else? Sunday, I was exhausted because with Grayson, he woke up at midnight, then he woke up again at four in the morning and at four in the morning, that boy was just like, I'm up, I'm up, I am not going back to bed. So, um, and then I stayed up all day. So, um, I got no sleep until Saturday night. And so Sunday I like sat around and like I was just so exhausted and I did like nothing. I did get some laundry and the dishes done and that was it. Uh, oh no, I finished filming my Nordstrom haul, which you guys would have already wa you would watch that on Monday. Um, today is Monday, but you're not gonna see this probably till like Thursday or Friday. Um, so this week is kind of interesting. I work from home today. Tuesday and Wednesday, I'll be at the office, and Thursday, I have to take off. i got to help. Robert has a doctor's thing that I have to help him with. Um, so I'm off on Thursday, and then Friday, I'm working from home, and then it's a weekend again. So I'm trying to do more fashion videos for you guys, but less, like, unboxings, and we'll probably do some of the unboxings in the vlogs that are, like, remaining. Like, I have a habitation box here for July, and I didn't get to open it yet, so that's something we have to do. Um, the other thing that we have to do is I got a big Shein delivery. You may or may not have seen that. Depends when I get, because I started filming it today, which is Monday when you're seeing this. And I unboxed everything. In fact, it's all right there. Um, but I didn't try anything on yet. And I have another video of just some clothing that I don't know that you guys have seen and put some outfits together. That will be up sometime this week. So... Um, yeah, we're going to try to do clothing videos. We're going to try to do a lot of fashion. We're going to try to like, we're going to be putting some fall outfits together come pretty soon. Probably like mid to end of August, we'll be doing a lot more fall, um, clothing videos. This is one of my favorite, favorite new pieces. It lays so nice. And I love this like brown cocoa color and it's so cozy. And oh my God, I, you know, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I spent a hundred dollars on a Barefoot Dreams blanket. I love it. It's like the perfect weight. It's, it's, I don't get too hot. I don't get too cold and it's not too heavy. And I just, I just love it. Um, I don't want to let the dogs have this or the cats. Um, I'm going to fold it up every night and put it away because I don't want the cats, you know, they'll kind of tear it. So they'll, they'll like pull pieces out of it. So anyway, I'm like super cozy in both of these pieces. Um, if you have any ideas for fashion videos, like things that are already in my closet and ideas that I can do. Like I know I'm gonna do like how to wear white jeans now, um, how to wear them for summer, fall, winter, and spring. So that's like an idea that I have. Um, I'm also gonna talk to you about like the current fashion trends for 2021 um, and what, I had an idea like of what has been swapped, like what fashion was in last year or previous years that has been swapped for 2021 and what we're wearing today now these aren't all things that like necessarily I agree with or I do I kind of do my own thing I've never been a super huge trend follower I wear what I like and I always have um even if it's not like the in thing um some trends I like and some trends I just like can't get on board with so I don't know if you guys are like that too so um it's funny because you open yourself up to you open yourself up to so much criticism when you do fashion, which is why I ended up in, like, if you watch my channel, I started doing the fashion first, and then I veered into, like, some unboxings and went that direction for a little while because it's so hard when you do fashion videos. Like, people criticize you. They tell you things don't fit you. They don't like this, how that looked. You know, something that I put on that I love, and somebody's like, that doesn't fit you, or that's too tight, or those shorts are too short, and... You know, you got to be comfortable. You have to be comfortable in your own skin and what you are comfortable wearing. And if I choose to wear shorter shorts, like I'm not, I have a big butt, so I'm not going to wear anything less than a three inch inseam. I typically wear a four to five inch inseam, but when I, I've had a couple pairs of shorts I've shown on videos that were three inch that I really liked. And a lot of you guys are like, oh, those are too short for you. 
they're not too short for me if I'm comfortable wearing it. You get what I'm saying? So like that's why it's hard to do fashion videos because everybody has an opinion like politics, everyone has an opinion. Also, I don't want to talk about that on my channel ever either. Um, and anyway, so I'm going to just open myself up to that criticism. I just know that if I'm showing you something and I say I already bought it, it's mine. So it doesn't matter what your thoughts are. <laughs> like if you tell me after I bought something, you don't like it or it didn't fit me well or whatever, it's mine and I bought it and I'm wearing it. Um, and you're going to see it in future videos. If it's a box that I'm doing, like and I'm asking for your advice. Like there, like for instance, my Nordstrom video, I did, um, I did ask for advice on one item. Of course, I'm getting it on all of the items, but most of you guys are awesome. You're like telling me your favorites, which is what I wanted to hear. Um, but like some of you wanted to tell me like how I shouldn't wear this because this didn't fit well and you know, this was too tight or this didn't look good or whatever. And it's like, those are items that I purchased that I, like handpicked and paid for it and they are mine. So, you know, I don't know. I, I guess people just, everybody thinks it's a free for all when YouTubers do videos that they can just say whatever they want. And I've had to learn how to have kind of a thicker skin doing fashion. So I've decided to come back to fashion for my channel and the vlogs. So I think you guys are really enjoying the vlogs. Um, and that just means I'm gonna have to open myself up to that criticism. And I just hope everybody has a kind heart and, um, you know, is respectful in the way that they say their opinions. I Sometimes I think people don't even necessarily know how their opinions come off. So I've learned nobody wants my opinion. You know, you, you I've learned as I've aged, like people want to share their opinions and they want to like shove their opinion down your throat about everything these days. But they don't really care about your opinion. They only care about their own. Um, and it's just that sort of changed the way that I communicate with people because I have very strong opinions about some things. But I don't have the energy, the mental energy to argue with somebody who disagrees with me. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't have the energy to do that. Like if they don't agree with me and they're on a different page with me, I'll just be, oh, yeah, yeah, mm hmm, mm hmm, and move on. Like I'm not going to even go there with them Like because I just don't want to argue. I feel like there's just so much arguing in our world and so much negativity and my little heart needs positivity that it just does like that one little that one little um shirt I got from Shein is I think it said something like so positive thoughts or something that is what we need to like do more we need to be kind to one another and we need to be positive to one another so here is my challenge for you for this week's vlog I don't need you to um say something wonderful about me I would like you to comment. How do you do this? I want you guys in the comment section to comment something nice to each other, but you guys don't really know each other. So I think what we'll have to do is I'd like you guys to share something that you did this week that you're proud of. And then when you see that people commented something they're proud of, I would really like to see in the comment section everybody building that person up. Can we do that? Can we do that for this vlog? That would make me so happy. So, all right. Anyway, I do have some footage. If you're not, um, I put it on my personal Facebook page, but I am going to show you some footage of the little baby black kitten that we have who uh, I let her out, or him, I think it's a boy. I let him out yesterday, and he loves Nitro. Oh, my God, he loves Nitro. He loved Nitro so much. Like, he immediately went to him. It wasn't like, no, like, oh my god, this big dog. It was like, he came right up to Nitro and just started snuggling and pushing on Nitro. And Nitro was so good with the baby kitten. So I'm going to put that in so you guys can see that now. And uh, I'm going to come back hopefully later. I think Robert's making some stuffed peppers today from the um, Home Chef meal. And it's like a taco-style Tex-Mex stuffed pepper. I'm going to show you a photo of it, if that's what we have today, uh, later on tonight. So, um, and I think also in these videos, I'm going to show you my outfits of the day. I don't actually have an outfit of the day to show you today because I didn't really get dressed. So, well, I mean, I did. I have a bra on. I got, look, I got something on it. Um, so I have this little tank on. This is a Madewell tank. Um, and then I have my Barefoot Dreams cardigan. This really hasn't come off since I got it, my initial necklace. And then on the bottom, I have these cute little pants, and they've got 
um, pockets and they're just really cute like little I don't even know how to show them to you but they're really cute little like kind of like joggers I didn't put any um I didn't put any earrings on today which is so unlike me I took my diamond earrings out and I'm gonna put some little pearls in I think this week and um yeah, I got to plan out my outfit for tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll wear something cute because I got to go to work. But when I'm home, I don't care about cute. I, like, I'll do my makeup and stuff, but I just want to, like, I just want to be comfortable. So if you want to see me on my days that I'm working from home in my home outfits, I'm happy to show you. I'll just show you my outfits all week this week for the vlog. And I also, so if you're not following me on Instagram, I do put up my outfits of the day on Instagram. I'll, I'll stick one picture here, one that I did. And, um, and I talk about where I got those items. What I'm not sure is if I should link those items through Linktree. If I can, I can't always link them. Like if they came from, like I could link this and I could link this. I don't know that I can link the pants. So uh, if you guys want to see links for those I'll try to put my outfit of the day links in the vlog videos. How about that? How about that? All right, guys. I am going to probably take my toenail polish off and use this color. This is an older color by Orly. Um, what color is it? It's called Backlit, and it's a really beautiful, like, summer hot pink because we're getting ready to go into fall, and we can only wear these colors, these bright, bright colors, for so much longer. Although, and I love the bright colors, but I also love these like neutrally warm, cozy, toasty colors for fall and winter as well. So I will see you guys in a little bit, probably around dinner time. Enjoy the Nitro and Black Kitty. I don't, he needs a name. If you guys can come up with some names for little Black Kitty, put them in the comments below. I'll see you in a little bit. Video. Oh, look, now Arrow's got to get her loving with Nitro. Aww. Oh, sweet, sweet little boy. You love the nitro. They just smelled his butt. She wants to chase Arrow. Arrow's, little, Arrow's gonna swat her if he does that. Hey guys, I'm so tired. I feel like all I'm doing this week is talking to you from the couch. Um, oops, and dropping you. <laughs> I, um, I have some heavy things on my heart today, and I can't fully talk to you guys about what those are right now. But do you ever feel like you're at a crossroads? Like, and it's a tough crossroads because, guys, if I go left, I lose this thing. If there's arrow, if I go right, I lose this thing. Either way I go, I lose either a piece of me or a piece of something very valuable to me. And one road keeps something important to me, but lets go of something that I've wanted my whole entire life. And the other road, I lose something that I love, but I have hope for something even greater. I don't know what to do. And so my heart's been a little heavy this week. Um, I am slowing down a little bit on the filming, but I am trying to bring you more quality content that's more focused into the fashion and the vlogging. Look, she knows. You're such a sweet girl. You're such a sweet, sweet girl. She's always got to be touching me. So, oh, she wants to come down here. We'll stay right there. We'll stay right there, okay? She wants cuddles. 
So anyway, someday, someday soon, hopefully I'll be able to share more with you guys, but um, just my heart and my head are just like overwhelmed today and this week in general. And uh, cat, excuse me. This is what we all need to see, a little bit of cat butt, you know? Um, she's such a mess. Oh my God. Anyway, um, so anyway, I don't feel like I've been as productive as I would like. I've been very busy, tied up with a lot of things going on and just a lot going on in my head. Um, so like my little noggin's tired. I was just tired. And I don't know what to do. Like I have some decisions to make and I'm just like in the thick of it and I don't know, I don't know what the right decision is. And it isn't a decision anybody can help me with. It is something I have to do alone. So, um, I guess what I would ask you guys, what you can help me with, is just pray for me. If you guys wouldn't mind, just say say a prayer that things turn out the way they're supposed to. That I would appreciate that. So, look at this cat. She's a lover. A lover, baby. She wants to be held 24-7. If you just held her all the time, she'd be so happy. Your sweet girl, Arrow. My sweet girl. She loves when I sing, especially when I sing high pitched noises, which, like, I'm not good at, but she still thinks it's beautiful. You still think it's beautiful, don't you? Which everybody say, I love my mommy. I love my mommy when she sings, and I put my face up under her chin, and I put my face right here. What if I sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Will you like that song? Let's see if she likes Twinkle. Ready? Let's do a little baby song. Ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. See, she likes it. She likes singing. That's what she does. She pushes herself all over my face when I sing. And I can be in a different room. Like, I can be, and she'll come running. She'll hear me singing. She will literally come running from a different room to be near me while I sing. She's just a sweet little girl. Aren't you? Aren't you? She likes the slow, like, the slow, sad melodies and the, like, really high-pitched songs. Like, if I sing, like, um, something from Wicked, she likes that stuff. And then she just likes the, like, the sad, the kitty cat, the sad love songs. She's such a silly, silly kitty. Now, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star was not a love song, but it, I sang it a little higher. So she liked it. Because she don't like the low stuff. She likes the high-pitched stuff. Someday I'll have to show you guys. You got to be careful because you get like a copyright strike on YouTube if you play music. I've often wanted to show you guys what she does. Like if I play music and I sing because she goes nuts. Um, oh, and look. A little zit right there. I'm getting like zits all over my face. And it's because I'm not on the pill anymore. And this like that's part of the problem. So I'm also starting to get emotional. I'm getting like, I'm starting to get like crying emotional over every single little thing. I watch something on TV, I cry. I see something on the computer, I cry. I'm just like, if Robert speaks to me, he did the other day, he kind of yelled at me and snapped at me for no reason because he was frustrated about something and I started crying. And then he just apologized. Yeah, hasn't seen me that way in so long. I don't think he really knew what to do with that. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to pop in and say hello. It is Tuesday evening. It's about six o'clock at night. And Robert's actually on his way over now. We're going to have some dinner and probably just go to bed. Like, that's probably it today. Um, and then tomorrow's another day of work. And I'll be at the office tomorrow. I, I got a cute little Nordstrom dress in today. I may wear it to work tomorrow. So if you're watching my Instagram, um, if you're watching my Instagram tomorrow, if I wear that, you'll see that as my outfit of the day before I show it in the, in the part two of my Nordstrom haul. So... And I don't think this item was actually in the anniversary sale. It's just a Nordstrom piece that I bought that I liked. So, all right. I'll see you later.
Did you get ready in the dark or something? Cause you look like a beautiful nightmare to a medical procedure thing today. He's fine. It's just a standard thing he has to do at his age. And um, so I am home today uh, and we're leaving in a couple hours to get him to the hospital. But I got my Aura box in, um, which is their candle box, the Aura Center for Life Healing. And it's um, I get two candles a month. So I figured I'd show you. So I'm going to flip the screen and show you what I got. All right. So here it comes in little box like this and then it's wrapped in this cool paper and it's got the wax aura seal so cool so we're gonna break the seal and I'm doing this with one hand so bear with me there we go there's our two candles so um, this one, okay, this, this is more of like a, I think like a vanilla -y scent, Awaken. It tells me the descriptions in the inside, so I'll read them to you in just a second. There, her candles, oh, they're so beautiful. They are so, so beautiful. So there's Awaken, and this one has like peach in it and eucalyptus. This is Georgia Dreamin'. Oh, and there's the, how beautiful is that? Watch. And there is our candle. So, so pretty. All right, so let me tell you the notes in these. You can see it. All right, so Awaken is mint, custard, cream, cinnamon, vanilla, and mocha, and the Georgia Dreamin' is peach, dry eucalyptus, and lavender. So... Um, I haven't smelled either one. You can see they're both $14. Um, it would have been like $28, but they charge you $24. So you get a little discount. So anyway, um, those are my two candles. I'll have a link down below if you guys want to check this company out. Thanks. Hey guys, it's Friday. I was hoping to have this vlog up this morning for you guys, but that just didn't work. And something came in. It was uh, destined to wait um, until hopefully tonight this vlog will go up for you guys. So um, I got a neat surprise in. So if you made it to this part of the video, you're going to be excited because I'm including this in this week's vlog. So I did my unboxing of my Apothecary Monthly last month 
and you guys may remember it was a um it was all about calendula which um <clears throat> we had a big storm after i had planted my little seeds and i had left them outside and they got flooded so i just planted new calendula seeds so when those come up i will let you know but this one came in and there's something very special in here so um and for you too so let me just start by reading you the thank you card that came in here hi southern yankee that was the first clue because i was like because obviously my subscription is under my name, so she saw our video. Thank you so much for the order and the YouTube review. We appreciate your feedback on the box, and it gave us a chance to see a real reaction from a customer and some invaluable feedback, particularly with the soil pack. If you'll remember, I had a little trouble with the soil pack. We had significant COVID-related shortages that forced us into picking that pack at the last moment and they weren't on point. We want to continue to grow and improve as we move forward. So we've started to phase those out and have included the new ones in your box, which are much quicker and easier to use. Also, we've sent you a second box that was shipped separately, which you can give away for your channel if you wish or pass along to a friend. It's our way of saying thank you. If you ever need anything, please reach, reach out. Take care of your friends at Apothecary Monthly. First of all, um, how incredibly sweet is that of them to send me a second box to give to one of you guys? And I'm so excited to do so. So I'm going to share with you, with you what's in mine. Um, and then this one is going to go to one of you guys. So after I talk to you about what's in here, um, stay tuned and I will tell you what to do to get entered into the drawing to win that box. Um, I'm actually excited because this particular box, you guys know that I grow this herb myself and I uh, use it all the time in my tea. Um, if you've watched my vlogs, you know what that is. So this month's um, box is all about lemon balm. So what they do is, and the last one was about calendula. So they take a um, an herb, like a medicinal herb or how to use it. And they not only give you like the herb and the seeds or whatever, they give you everything to make whatever it is you can do with this. We're going to be making a bug repellent with this one. I will make that during my vlog, not this one though, because part of it takes like a couple of weeks, like you have to do one part of it, wait a couple of weeks and then you can make it. So um, anyway, let's, um, and we're gonna make some like salves and balms and stuff with the other stuff and those will be done in the vlogs. I think those will be fun things to teach you guys since they have a lot to do with gardening and if you're gonna grow these in your yard, what do you do with them? So the first thing is it tells you why lemon balm, what is lemon balm and what is its use is for. So I'm gonna do this quickly so this isn't super long. But first of all, lemon balm smells just like lemon. It's so, so yummy. And I like to use it fresh in my tea but you can also dry it and then steep your tea in it that way as well. So you can use it either way. But here's what it helps with. Anxiety and stress, cold sores, cold sores, cognitive functions, pain and inflammation. Those are all the things that you can do, all the uses for uh, lemon balm. And um, it's got, I mean, it's just got tremendous health benefits. So if you can grow it in your garden, a lot of times you can get it at your local garden center. You can buy lemon balm seeds too, but a lot of, like this was a plant that I got at my local garden center and it's a perennial here in Virginia. So it comes up every year. So it talks to you how you grow it. It is good in uh, zones four through 10. If you have it there, you can grow it as a perennial. If you're not in zones four through 10, um, I don't know if maybe you could just grow it during your warm season. I don't know. And it, it also talks to you in this little booklet about how to grow it and how to harvest it. Okay. Um, it talks to you about what the ingredients are in here. So I'm going to tell you about that. Um, so there's dried lemon balm used to make lemon balm infusion. The herbs in the spice jar are already pre-measured. And there's extra lemon balm provided in the herb bag for more projects such as teas until you're able to get it growing in your garden. There's witch hazel extract bottle used to make the lemon balm infusion. There's cat nip or mint, which is optional. This is not necessary. However, if you have any of these growing, which I do, I have both of those actually, add a pinch in um, to your lemon balm infusion. And there's a, uh, a mason jar, any sealable mason jar container for the infusion process. These are things you're gonna need. Lemongrass, basil, or orange essential oil used to create the repellent. Distilled water, not included, but you'll need four ounces of distilled water to complete the project. So the first thing you're going to do is make an infusion. So it says you're going to use the provided witch hazel, and you're going to combine the witch hazel and the pre-measured dried lemon balm in a spice jar, in the spice jar, 
to a mason jar or container you have around the house. Shake thoroughly and place in a cooler cabinet for a week or two. So that's something I'm going to have to do on my own. So, all right. Let me show you what we have in here, first of all. Here is the dried lemon balm. Okay. And I love the little jars they come in. Here is the witch hazel extract that is going to be used to make the infusion. This is more dried lemon balm. Um, and it just says use this extra to refill your bot herb bottle or any additional projects that you want to do. So it's a bag of lemon balm. It's already pre-dried. Then we have a little squirt bottle jar and it actually is labeled and it says lemon balm repellent. Um, this is a bug repellent. That's what we're going to be making in this box. That's the project for the box. And then I'm guessing this is the essential oil here. See what they gave us. Oh, there's a couple of them. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Lemon balm repellent. Use every one to two hours. Shake well. Spritz on. And and they say this is like the best bug repellent for like bug to keep bugs off you they've ever used. So we have a we have a little dropper that came here so that we can get just a couple drops of what we need. The tiny, um, a little lemon gra grass essential um, oil. We have a basil essential oil and we have an orange essential oil. I also have, um, I probably have the lemon and orange essential oils on my own as well, but I'll use theirs for the project. I think that I got everything out of here. Oh, uh, oh right here, my, okay. Here is the soil puck so that you just make your soil to plant some more lemon balm, which we will do. And then we have, like before, we have the lemon balm seeds to get them started. We have our little container uh, marker, a little muslin cloth here, and we have our our pot to grow it in. And then, oh, these are... Um, these are for tea bags. These are to make some tea. These are like, once you dry the lemon balm, you can steep this in your tea. So to make lemon balm tea. So um, I'm gonna start with making the infusion. So basically all I'm going to do is take the witch hazel and the lemon balm and put these together. Um, and we're gonna put them in a mason jar or a container and we're gonna shake it and we're gonna put it in a cool place for just a week or two. And that's gonna get the infusion started. And that is going to be the beginning of our um, bug spray. And then I think when we're finished, all we're going to do is add some lemongrass essential oil, some basil, some orange, um, put the spray top on, uh, add a little bit of distilled water, and I think we should be able to go and have our bug spray. Perfect season for it. And they have a little um, a little photo of somebody using the bug spray. So, and then also in here, there is a recipe for lemon balm tea and a recipe for lemon balm cold sore balm, um, ginger and lemon balm syrup, so I am going to keep all of these every single month that I get them because um, I'm, so, I'm just starting to grow my own herbs and stuff and I don't know all the things you can do with them. So this is going to be a fabulous resource. I have the calendula one now and I have the lemon balm and I'm going to use these to make the things in here to help our family out. And I'm so excited to give back to one of you guys. Uh, thank you so much Apothecary Monthly for sending that to me. How very sweet. I'm so glad you guys saw my video and are uh, giving me an opportunity to give one of these to my subscribers. Very exciting. So here's what you have to do to get entered into the drawing. Obviously, be subscribed to my channel and I want you to com uh, comment down below Lemon Balm, okay? Um, so that's it, just be subscribed, comment Lemon Balm, and a, I will pick a random winner in about a week. So I will see you guys all in the next vlog. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for staying to the end, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.